How do I take notes for jujitsu? I recently did a podcast where some gentlemen asked me how to engage the material in jujitsu to improve. Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the biggest deficiencies that we have in jujitsu is that students don't engage the material when they're off the mat. What are you doing to engage the material for which I've already taught you, you've already consumed, to make sure that it is on the front of your mind? And the answer to that is take notes. You need to take notes. We know that from immediate review, short-term review, and long-term review can up your retention rate significantly. Significantly. And I mean in the scientific significant sense. When you get done learning a move, how many people do you see walk to the sideline, take out their phone, right? Not texting somebody, not checking Facebook. Take out their phone or take out a pad and paper and write down what we did. Write down what we did what position it was from, what the move was, what, who you did it with, the problems that you had with the move, and then when you, that's, that's immediate review, then you roll and you try to do the move, try to do the move of the day, right? At our school, it's a big thing. In the kids' class, in the adults' class, when you do it, you're like, move of the day, you know? And they just saw the move too, so it can be even harder. But that's more knowledge that you're gaining. Right? That's another form of review. That's a physical review of something that you just did while drilling. So you drilled it, you took notes on it, then you tried to apply it in rolling. When you get done rolling, are you thinking about it again? What went wrong? Who did you try to do it to? And more importantly, self-talk about what you're going to try and do to make it work next time. I, I couldn't get the underhook pass. I keep missing the underhook. Next time I do it, I'm going to try and pass on the offside. Oh, that didn't work. Next time I do it, I'm going to try and start the underhook down by the hip pit. Okay, that didn't work. Next time I'm going to try and hit the cross face and flatten them out first. Then I'm going to hit the underhook. And you become assessed about how you can make something work through reflection on the failures. And a lot of people don't want to think about the failures. They don't want to think about why it didn't work, what they're going to do to make it better. Maybe it's a training problem. So as your coach, I pull your journal and I'm like, let's look at this. You tried to do the underhook pass. All the times you go, it's failing all the time. And then I look at your notes and I go, no, it's not. It's failing against Jeremy, right? I see right here, you did it against Greg. I see right here, you did it against Thomas. I see right here that you did it against Jody. And then the, all the failures, which are what you're remembering, are against one or two people that are better than you, right? And then I say, that's not the tool for the job. You've got to do this. But as a coach, I can't see what you're thinking. If you're not writing it down, I'm not in your head. So then after you get done writing down that, two to three days, you come back and review it again. This time you're getting ready to step on the mat. You're looking through your notes. Oh, I see what the problem is here. I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And then you take notes on that too. People aren't doing it. So review and note taking is an important part of the learning process because it allows you to be reflective on times when you're not necessarily on the mat. Although you should be taking notes on the mat too.